Yo, what's up guys? Complies here. First off, I just want to say remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you enjoy it or if this helps you. Also, don't forget to follow my Twitch where I stream Apex almost every single day. Now my streaming schedule has been kind of inconsistent lately because I've been trying to focus more on YouTube and other social medias. So I hope you guys can forgive me. But with that said, don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram as well. All the links to all my socials will be in the description below. For now, let's get right into the video. So today's video is going to focus on different drills that I do every single day to help improve your aim in the firing range. If you want to aim to your truest potential, I would definitely recommend picking up an aim trainer such as Kovacs or Aimbeast. Now these are both available on Steam for about 5 to $10. And personally, I use Kovacs because I feel it has the biggest selection of scenarios and you can really dial in what you need to improve on. It's also very established, so there are a lot of different guides out there already published. I will leave a link to a couple of those in the description as well if you're interested in picking that up. But even with those aim trainers, it's really important to translate the skills that you learn in those in-game, which is what I'm going to be trying to help you with. And most of this is is going to be focused on wingman aim, but there's also going to be a little bit of R9, R301, and massive sprinkled in there as well. So let's go ahead and get our weapons. Now it's better to run these with no attachments other than like a mag or something. If you want the best practice you can possibly get, I'd recommend doing it without a sight. I would do this because it's generally harder to aim without a sight, so when you do pick one up in game, it's going to be that much easier. However, for this video, I am going to use it just for demonstration purposes. But when I usually practice this myself, I don't use any sights whatsoever, only mags. So the first drill we're going to do is very simple. I'm actually going to be going from easiest to hardest. And what you want to do for this one, you're basically just going to be practicing your movement and your strafing aim on the bots so let me go ahead and demonstrate it for you right here See how when I was fighting all of those bots, I was strafing while also still doing my best to stay on track of the target. So next we're going to be doing the same thing, but we're just going to back up a little bit. Now what this is going to do is teach us recoil control and also get the timing on the movement down for our slides and reloads so that you can transition way smoother. Now I'd recommend doing this for just a few minutes. You don't want to be doing this the whole time, but I do feel like it's very good to get yourself warmed up with. Now the next few drills are going to be focused purely on wingman aim. So what you want to do first, I like to align myself about right here, center with this target. And what we're going to be doing is flicking to each target and after each shot, we're going to try and center back right around this dummy. So it'll look a little something like this. Now, if you've never done any of these before, if you're kind of new to the game, I would definitely recommend going slow like this. So that, you, so that you don't build any bad habits. Accuracy is always more important than speed. What is speed gonna do if you can flick 300 miles an hour but you can't hit anything? Even if you are relatively experienced in aiming, I'd still recommend going slow and taking your time so you also don't build any bad habits. Now after every couple times with this drill, I like to vary my ranges so I'll back up a little bit. And it's also nice to vary the order in which you do these. So sometimes I'll go clear each side and sometimes I'll go back and forth. Now you want to do this for a few minutes as well, just to get that muscle memory down really good. And then the next one we're going to do is sort of similar. So how we were centering after each shot back on the dummy, we're actually going to be perfectly centering on him and shooting in between each target. And it'll actually look a little something like this. I do recommend on that last shot to go for a headshot just to be a little more precise and it also clears the dummy so that you don't have to reload your wingman and wait to kill him again to reset it. Now same thing as before, vary your ranges, so I'll do one from back here now. And also don't forget to focus on accuracy and precision more than speed. The speed will come with itself over time, but you need to build a good foundation in order for that speed to come correctly. So do this for a few minutes as well, and then we'll be going on to the next one, which is practicing large flicks on these big targets up here. 
It'll be sort of similar to the first one and how you recenter after every single shot and it'll look a little something like this. Now this one I don't do as often just because I feel like you're not going to be flicking this much in game, but it is important to learn it just in case. I feel like the more little things that you learn, even though you're not going to be using them all the time, it'll make every single other aspect of aiming a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and just demonstrate those three for you real quick again. So now that we're done doing those ones, we're going to be focusing a little bit more on the dummies. Now this one, we're going to be, it'll be sort of similar to the last one we did with the large flicks, but it's going to be focusing on the dummies. So you have to be a bit more precise and it'll look a little something like this. You want to do this for a few minutes, just like the other ones. I think this one is a little bit more important to focus in on because the, these dummies are a lot smaller than these targets here. So you have to be a lot more precise. I'll go ahead and do it one more time for you. Now I would recommend varying up the order of the dummies just so your body doesn't get used to doing one thing over and over again. Now the next one we're gonna do is gonna be sort of similar to the last one, but we're gonna be right here, only focusing on two of the dummies. So you're just gonna practice shooting back and forth just like this. Now, once again, if you are new to aiming or you aren't that good, you do want to take your time on this to build the correct muscle memory, just as the last ones. That's probably one of the most important things to do in this is to make sure you're taking your time and doing it correctly. For the next one, we're going to be focusing on our 180 flicks. So what I like to do, I come up here and all we're going to be doing is flicking back and forth to each target with the 180 degree motion. It'll look a little something like this. Now that one is going to feel weird at first, so definitely take your time learning that one. And I usually do that just for a couple minutes every single day. The next one we're going to do, you're going to come up next to the dummy. We're going to be practicing our 90 degree flicks. So that'll look a little something like this. And I do like to alternate between the dummies just so that my body doesn't get used to one specific target and area. Go do it to this last one here. And then what I like to do is I do the same thing, but I do my right hand flicks. So I'll demonstrate that now. Now for this, I would do it for just a couple minutes, just a couple runs back and forth. And this will help you for when you need to snap to those targets quickly that are right next to you for your target swapping. And you can also do it from hip fire as well since the wingman is perfectly accurate at hip fire if you let it reset for a certain amount of time. Now that time is very quick. So let me go ahead and show it to you right now. It is important to mix a few of those hit fires in there as well, just so you, once again, your body doesn't get used to one specific thing. It's always good to change it up and keep it fresh. And also wingman is very good from hip fire close range. So if you're not using that, I would recommend you start doing that and trying it out more, getting used to it. So now we're gonna be focusing on R3, not specifically the R3 aim in general, but we'll just be using it just cause the single fire is very good for what we're gonna be doing. So I'll go ahead and put a red dot on it. Then what I like to do, I like to center myself right here with this target. So what we're going to be doing here is just shooting in between the moving target and the static targets right here. And it will look a little something like this. I do like to go in order for those targets, but it is okay to switch it up every now and then. Say I want to do this.
that's perfectly okay too. This is the one that I would probably focus in a lot more on, and it's gonna help you dial in that precision when you're ADS. No matter what weapon, it'll transfer over to any single one. And you can also use this to do the wingman drills that we did before, and then it'll look like this. Now definitely switch it up between the targets up here and these down here as it'll help keep things fresh. You can also do it with the one over here as well. It's really up to you to find out what you want to do, but really just use this video as a guideline. It is good to develop it specifically for yourself and what you enjoy doing, but I'm just giving you a basic layout of all the drills that you can do. There's also a ton more that I probably haven't really practiced yet, but for now, let's get into a couple of the harder ones. So I like doing this one as it incorporates a wall bounce. We're going to be let's bouncing off way. that and then shooting the targets, something like this. Now this is a lot less practical than the other ones, but it will come in handy as practicing the hard things will make the simple things come at you that much easier. So I do that for a couple minutes just as well. And then the next wingman one we're gonna do is gonna involve this zip line and this bot right here. And it'll go a little something like this. Now what this is good is it practices the quick 180s and having to refine your target after swapping away from it. And once again, this is one of the harder ones and it's not as practical. But once you learn to do this, aiming with the wingman, doing simple things is going to be so much easier. Now the next one we're going to do involves the Mastiff. So go ahead and pick that up. You throw a bolt on it, any sight you want, doesn't really matter. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be practicing our B-hops while also trying to stay on target and shoot that. And I like to do that back and forth at least a few times every single day just to keep my v-hops extra crispy. Now that one actually could be useful in a game. Like say you're about to come around the corner, catch an enemy on surprise. I hit them with that, they're not going to know what happened. And then to top this all off, what I like to do is I like to activate the bots. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. So first, if you have any guns at all, you're going to have to go ahead and drop those. Make sure that's empty. Then you're going to switch to Pathfinder. Grapple up right here. You're going to be directly in the middle of this line, look straight down, and change characters. And when you get it right, you'll hear that little activation sound. So really for the last about 5-10 minutes of my warm-up and training, I'll just practice killing these bots, putting together everything that we learned today. I just kind of use it to close up my session and get a little bit of practice on moving targets. So yeah, anyways, that's gonna do it for me. I'll have a lot more guides on this coming out soon, such as best Kovacs playlist for Apex Legends, the best settings, how to optimize your game for higher FPS so that you can aim better, stuff like that. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like as it helps me a ton. Don't forget to comment as well if there are any drills that you do that I missed, because I'm always looking for new things to do. But yeah, anyway guys, hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching and peace out.